This is the Silicon Graphics Optical Mouse, which is for use with the Silicon Graphics 4D series of systems. In my case, it's a personal iris 4D20, and we'll forget about the specs. Anyways, it looks like a regular optical mouse. It's got the light on the bottom. You move it around. Yeah, actually, it can work without the surface, actually. But uh, wait, can you? Why is my cursor not moving? Well, the reason for that is actually because these older optical mice need their own special mouse pad. It has a special reflective grid on it. Now, I went and printed out, I have the grid right here, it looks like a bunch of dots, but it's actually a special little grid, but it's not reflective, so I can put the mouse down, move it around, and the cursor's still not moving. Okay, so what do I do next? Go and get yourself some transparency, like I have right here, and I've printed it out, you can see the, trans the grid on it slowly, and the other side I've put tinfoil, which is the reflective surface. Now I'm just going to lay that down, put the mouse on top, Move it around a bit, and oh, hey, there you go. You now have a moving cursor with your old Silicon Graphics mouse. Um, it can be temporary or permanent. The link for this gr for the uh, postscript grid, which I've just used for the transparency and printout, can be available in my video description. Thank you.